so much went into this story and the inspiration behind it. Um, I was actually going to write a novel and began to think of what I wanted to say and a lot of what I was dealing with personally as far as what I was seeing in our country was coming to my mind when I was beginning to write the outline. And the dignity that we seem to be losing was first and foremost. So I thought about that and then I thought of women specifically and stripping. It just kind of came to my mind. Um, the sex issues in our country are blasting us in the face and that was a big burden for me. So I created a character that was caught up in a world of stripping prostitution and then I created a reporter who is always good to have in a story uh, to come and rescue her. So that was the inspiration was the dignity that I see being lost in our country and what we could do about it. The overall process was nine months from beginning to end. That's the screenplay story, not the novel. Um, my first draft took about six weeks, and then I went back and did draft after draft after draft, and it took about nine months to finally complete the story where I was happy with it. Then I had my first baby. You know, it actually came to me as something I had to do. I was in Los Angeles uh, attempting to actually sell my screenplay. And after nine frustrating days, I was packing to come home and had the television on. I saw and heard a young woman who was actually a reporter talking about sex trafficking. And everything I heard come out of her mouth was a dance for Bethany. It was my story. And so I stopped packing and listened more intently to what she was saying and just knew that that's what I was supposed to do was to convert that part of my story uh, into sex trafficking rather than just stripping. And when I went back home and called the people on the interview, I talked with uh, them in depth about the issue and realized that I had created a story that was almost verbatim what was happening in the country today. So I made a few adjustments and tweaked it and made Bethany a sex traffic victim rather than just a stripper. And surprisingly enough, the two were intertwined. Both issues are intertwined. So I felt like that's what I was supposed to do with the story. When you have images in your head and you have words on paper, that's one thing, but to have it portrayed through real people, scene by scene, line by line, uh, story by story, it was just absolutely overwhelming. Um, the most fulfilling thing I've ever done and seen in my life was having what came out of me portrayed so people could see it. It was really scary at first when I watched the scenes before the editing, but as we began to edit and and build Bethany into the story that she is, um, I couldn't be more pleased. Um, I've seen it probably 50 times realistically, but every time I see it, I see it for the first time and it keeps drawing me in. It's just one of those stories that you can watch again and again and again and still gain something from it. Um, I'm very pleased. Editing would be my choice. I loved character building and the writing of the story, but the editing is where you could actually take the story, take the scenes, look at it and recreate it if you needed to. So editing to me was a, a very positive and joyful experience. Not only um, the process, but I think that's where I saw it all come to life. So editing is a phenomenal experience, I love that. The reason I decided to go ahead and write the novel once we were through filming is because I had to create a script for insurance purposes. And in doing that, I used the original screenplay as my template. And that's when I realized how much of the story had been um, left out of the filming, which again is normal for making a film. You can't possibly write everything uh, and film everything into a two-hour story. So I went back and took the challenge of writing the, uh, the novel to get all of the elements in that I wanted to say about the, the story, the issue, the characters. You can be much more descriptive in a novel than you can in a screenplay. There was a lot more to Bethany's character than we were able to portray when a young woman comes out of the brutality of sex trafficking or any kind of abusive situation into a wholesome world, that is a scary world for them. They can't accept it readily. So there's this ongoing struggle of, I can't go back to that world, but I don't fit in this world. So in Bethany's character, there were some scenes like that and there were some character traits that didn't get filmed, unfortunately. For example, there's a scene in the movie where Bethany finally accepts a date with Eric and they go to this nice restaurant. During that time at the restaurant, she has this struggle again where she just doesn't feel like she fits in. So when she runs out, she actually takes the napkin uh, engraved napkin from the restaurant with her and 
that is her link to goodness. Every young woman that experiences that um, will have something that she holds on to, and that's her, her, her link. That's her connection, and that keeps her moving forward. And that was left out of the film. And I love those little elements of, of developing someone's character to show the depth of what they're going through. And in the novel, I was able to put those back in. I mean, do you know what I am? No. No, I don't know what you are. But I think I know who you are. My dreams and expectations for A Dance for Bethany, there's so many. But I suppose the first and foremost expectation would be, number one, that it touches all people, not just young girls, but it touches all people in a level of their heart that says, yeah, we need to do something different in this country. It's a message film per se. It's an entertaining film. It's an entertaining story so that we can relate to the characters. But that would be my hope is that it really touches people and I believe that that's happening and we can relate to the characters. So that's my greatest expectation is that it changes hearts. When writing this story, it, it affected me to some degree, but since seeing it, when you see it live, I am actually relating to the characters that I wrote. And it has caused me and my husband to want to do more in the industry. Not the film industry, which we're going to do, but in the industry of sex trafficking. And it is an industry. The uh, sex trafficking industry in this country is passing drug money for income revenues. What is said in the screenplay and the story is accurate. Um, girls are used 30 to 40 times a day. So it has touched me at a level that I can't just make a film and go on to the next one. We're actually working with groups across the country. One such group is the New York uh, Coalition Against Trafficking in Women. I am terribly burdened to inform and educate this country on the reality of it. Mary and I came up with a, a campaign we're thinking about called I'm an Abby. You know, Abby in the story is the one that goes after um, Bethany to help her because she's touched by it and now that has touched us inadvertently. We are doing the same thing. We can't say no. We can't stop at this point and just get the film out there. We have to do something. So we are involved in it ourselves. What kind of research goes into writing a story like A Dance for Bethany? A lot of research. I have read over 500 pages of information from groups who have worked in the field of sex trafficking for 10, 15, 20 years. So the research requires a lot, a lot of time. To choose between writing novel and writing a screenplay would be extremely difficult. I'm also an artist, a graphite artist, and so I have the visual aspect of life. A writing novel is the, the verbal aspect of life, and screenplay combines the two. So I love writing screenplay because I can see it and then put it into action. Whereas writing the novel, you can tell every little thing you want to about someone. You can just tell them 400 pages, 500 pages, 200. So to choose, I can't choose. I like them both. I just love both of them, novels and screenplays.